Hey guys, so I'm back here with this laptop that I just installed Windows 10 on and I was using it for the past three days and uh, trying to browse the internet using Chrome. Uh, I installed Windows on uh, Microsoft Office but tried to install for the past two hours and eventually just gave me an error and failed to install. So the performance is quite slow and uh, I am trying to do a few tricks on it, tricks on it today and see how it works out. So I'll just power this up so you can get an idea of how this works. So the thing I'm trying to do today is I got this just today in the morning solid state hard drive it's 240 GB from Kings it's the A400 and uh, it has like a metal build to it compared to the Western Digital that I got the blue Western Digital uh, NAND disk which is basically made out of plastic compared to that this one seems to be more sturdy one thing is I'm not sure exactly in performance though it does mention that it has the caching on it and uh, I believe it should be the same performance as the WD so let's check it out we have passed two and a half minutes while this thing still tries to boot one thing I know for sure is that this hard drive will definitely have a better read and write compared to the standard hard drives so therefore these things should be able to give it a quicker boot that's for one I don't know, we have the patience to wait for this. I'll just begin changing the on the hard drive and uh, later then we'll have to install windows again. So there is my handy screwdriver. compartment and see what it has inside I hope it's one dim oh yes it is one dim this is the 512 MB that was inside you could probably stick to the usual machines that we usually get in the market right now but I think it's good enough now we open the hard drive bay Western Digital 250 GB. So let's just switch this hard drive real quick. And begin installing Windows. I can show you what you can do with these extra hard drive of yours. So what we can do is we can
and get rid of the seed room guys. And to do that, you basically need to open it from down here. You open the seed room guy right here, the screw holding it. For this laptop is located right here. For every different laptop is in a different location. Push the seed room out. And once you push it, it should pop right out. Okay. There you have it. Okay. And we can use something like this. This is basically shaped of like a seed room drive. What you do is you plug it into this port right here. But what it's actually meant for. be able to plug in a second hard drive. Once you plug in a second hard drive, you plug this inside. And rather than having a syndrome drive, you end up having an extra the hard drive. So in that way, I don't have the downside of having a 240GB SSD, which is actually cheaper to purchase and high gain from your high capacity. I can use a 240GB for Windows and software itself. I'll use this for my data and other, other software and other games and stuff that I can actually install. One thing you can do about these is, the good thing is, it allows you to actually be able to remove the face from this DVD ROM drive and put it here so that it can match on your laptop right here. You that the ROM drive is mostly used for optical drives, reading, and also installing Windows. But since we need to buy a flash drive, we won't be needing a CD-ROM port. So, connecting power. Okay.
there you have it. Uh, we have installed uh, Windows.